Hi, I'm Maria B., the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com, bringing you a tip of the day for Scrapic Expo. My tip of the day is going to be what does shimming mean and why would you want to do that? Um, I've already ran this uh, piece of double sided cardstock through the die on one of the flip it dies. And this can typically happen with any company's dies. I call them kind of a temperamental die. Every once in a while, there might be an area where it does not cut. And I wanted it to cut all the way through this area here on the die, but it didn't. Instead of tearing it apart or cutting it with your scissors, there's another solution that's really, really easy for you to remember. And that is by just taking a piece of packaging tape. You can take a piece of cat packaging tape, a piece of scotch tape, and you can put a piece of tape in that little temperamental area. So wherever the area is that's temperamental, just put a piece of tape on the other side, and that makes it just a little bit thicker. So when you're running it through, it might just make that little mark. It could be a, just a separation of the cardstock that you changed to. Um, whatever it is, if it's not cutting through on that one little area, put a piece of one or two layers, or maybe even three layers of scotch tape or packaging tape, and it'll make your die cutting a lot easier, and you'll have a very nice project when you're finished. That's with the flip it die, and then you'll have very nice edges. This is Maria B., the Sizzix Lady from itscheaperthantherapy.com, bringing you a tip of the day for Scrapbook Expo.